So, Jamie, what we're going to do now is bring the chamber up to 5,000 feet, check the ears and sinuses and make sure they're clear and okay. If the cabin pressure of the U-2 was to fail... How are you feeling right now? I feel fine. Jamie needs to prove he can operate the suit and emergency systems. So right now we're just doing a slow ascent up to uh, flight level 400. As they approach cruising altitude, there's a startling reminder of the dangers involved. Oh, there we go. A beaker of water at body temperature begins to boil. If Jamie's suit were to fail, that's what the liquids in his body would do. All right, let's go ahead and try to reach that ejection handle. With that thought in mind, and at maximum altitude, Jamie has a few tasks to complete. Down by your right buttocks there, that's the scramble handle. Pull it up towards your chin just a little bit. That's good. The final being the suit's automated response to a sudden cabin pressure failure. Three, two, one. And go ahead and pull that helmet hold down. That was something else. It's, uh, it's kind of scary, actually. One. There's a lot of force, and when they uh, decompressed rapidly, it's just like, whoa. You're sort of feeling like popcorn. <laughs>